Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. This is Augusto the dog trainer and today I have a little surprise for you guys because we have adopted a new pet which I'm going to introduce to you guys very soon. I want to also update you guys on some of the things that have been happening here at the Ultimate German Shepherd. So, you know, um, that's Starling. Look at Starling at 11 months old. She's basically a full grown German Shepherd. It's amazing. Um, we have Owen Plutz, Big Daddy Owen over here. And we have Miss Ariana at eight weeks old. She's still getting some good old milk from her mom, Carolina. And I don't know if you guys remember, um, months ago, I posted videos of a tiny little Aus toy Australian Shepherd puppy that I had just got. This is him now, by the way. Um, he has been living with one of my friends for, for a while now, ever since I moved here, because my plans kind of fell through. I had just gotten him when I moved to Los Angeles. Um, and he hurt his paw. He actually broke his paw. Um, with them about a month ago and he has been on this cast for uh, about a month now um, it's gonna come off soon it's healing good um, I think they tra they changed it one time already he, he just recently got here to to stay with me for a little bit while he recovers and get some training um, we don't really know how he got hurt there was no other dogs with him or anything he was just in the yard playing and with one of the kids and he, he he broke his leg but he's doing good he's coming he's coming around good and he's recovering good <laughs> everybody wants to be as close as possible but look at miss ariana getting all the milk as much milk as she can from her mom Now, as you guys can see over here, we also have gotten this new addition, which is a 55-gallon fish tank. And um, I have to get it set up. So I don't know if you guys have any experience with fish and setting up a fish tank and what kind of fish I should get. Definitely let me know in the comments because I'm not a fish expert. And I want to have as many variety as possible, but I don't, um, I don't want them to hurt each other. So I know that there's like different types of fish that can go together and some that cannot go together. So if you have any suggestions, let me know. Um, I know I'm going to get it set up for at least two days and have the water get to the right temperature and everything. And uh, before I start to add fish, and I, I know to add them slowly, which I'm going to update you guys uh, as, we go, as we come along with the... Um, getting it set up and putting fish in there but definitely let me know if you have any suggestions for this but this is not the new addition that i was talking about um also i have a big big surprise coming up so if you guys are watching this subscribe to my channel and check in it's uh this surprise is supposed to get to me within a week from now i have been planning this for several months now so Definitely, definitely, definitely stay tuned because you guys, I know you guys are going to be in love with my new addition and surprise that I have for you guys. Um, I, I cannot tell you what it is until it's here, but I can tell you it is not a litter of puppies. It's not a surprise litter. Um, it's a lot more than that. So definitely, I cannot wait to share with you guys. Oh, you guys remember me training um, Alessandro a couple months ago, a month ago, so to stop biting now, and he is amazing now. Um, but now I have this little land shark over here who loves to bite. Um, you know, I told you guys, I usually allow it a little bit because they're young and I know how to stop it very easily. But once I do correct this behavior, it's a very effective method that I use and they, they stop biting right away. But this is a sign of a healthy, playful puppy. So I know some people don't know better and they get a puppy and they think that this is abnormal. This is a healthy, playful puppy over here, okay? Um, not that you should allow this necessarily, but 
when you understand dogs and you know what it's what it's all about and what she's doing it can be beneficial it can actually help me with training she's a very eager and confident puppy that plays you know with with all the confidence in the world and that's a good thing um but i also have showed you guys how to stop this because they need to know when when to bite and when not to bite and in some cases you don't want them to bite at all and in other cases i do want them to to bite so that i can use the biting um on command when i want it what do you want what do you want you a sassy girl you are a sassy girl she's so amazing i'm so in love with miss ariana she's she's no 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 huh no they don't like when i give attention to just one see that everybody's jealous don't be jealous because i have been giving a lot of love to this little girl who is my new pride and joy because i love everything about her look at the expression she's only a only eight weeks old really good bone structure struck really good bone structure very good coat on her nice head eyes everything you are everything just like her daddy and these are hard to find pure long coat solid black german shepherds with incredible pedigrees and true examples of you know of a good german shepherd uh, they're they're hard to get right and i have you and your daddy i do i do um veronica is about to have puppies uh, within a couple of days let me show you guys how big she's getting all right guys so here is veronica and she is due in just a couple of days now she her first due date is on the 11th which means she can have puppies at any time she's also expecting owen's puppies so owen over here and then veronica uh let me try to flip her a little bit so you guys can actually see her belly but she is pretty big right now um of course, Ariana thinks that she should be getting some milk from, from Veronica. Hey, get out of there, silly boy. Um, but here you go. No, that's not for you. Look at how... Marco! Look at her belly. So... She is too soon, and I'm very excited to see these babies. Stay tuned. They're moving a lot. They're moving like crazy. They're ready to pop out anytime, and I'm sure she's ready to see her babies. She has slowed down a lot, and she's a very active dog, but she's very calm now. She's, you know, in those, just waiting for her babies to come out. Right? We're waiting for those babies. So as soon as her puppies come out, I will make another video. So I'll make sure you guys are subscribed. And um, so you won't miss it. Look at that. Always super exciting. Every time. We never know what we're getting. Are they going to be boys? Are they going to be girls? Are they going to be black? Are they going to be black and red? Those are the possibilities. So we got to wait and see. Let me know in the comments below if you guys think she's going to have... However many boys and however many girls, I will probably say eight, pup eight puppies based on her size right now. My guess is eight puppies. So let me know what you guys think in the comments and let's play some bets. Let me, think, let me know what you guys think, what she'll have. We don't know, but um, it's always a fun game to try to guess what they're going to have. Back to Miss Ariana. And look how big she is, guys. This is to give you an idea, okay? This is a eight week old puppy. Carolina is shedding like crazy. If you guys don't know, after mom dogs have puppies, they literally shed all that coat. So right now, she is literally gonna be letting hair out like this. Um, my dogs, if you guys have been following me, you know, they don't shed the around. 
I use some really good supplements and a really good diet that helps prevent shedding. So usually my dogs are like this, right? Um, very shiny, non-shedding coats, but naturally, ouch, thank you, over here, plats. But like I, said, like, I, like I was saying, naturally after they have puppies, they change that coat. So right now she's almost naked, look at that. All her hair is coming out and there's hair everywhere in my house, which is not common for me, believe it or not, with all my dogs. Uh, with the, the natural diet and the supplements that I use, I get very little shedding. And look at the, the coat of this puppy too. She's amazing, I'm so happy with her. I'm so happy with the entire litter. We have one very little girl, but all these puppies are doing really well. The reason that I have Ariana separated from them is because they just turned eight weeks old and they are all being separated now to start their training. One of the puppies is going to his new home this week to New Hampshire and everybody else is staying for training. And then of course Ariana is gonna stay for good with, with me and the pack and her mom and her dad. So Carolina will have one of her offsprings to, to, to stay with her and learn from her, right? Look at, uh, you, you guys remember Carolina did not have a lot of milk when she first gave birth, but um, now eight weeks later, she is still producing a lot of milk. Without any further ado, let's introduce you guys to our new addition, Meat Cocaine. So this is Cocaine. She is a four month old lion head bunny. And my friend, my friend needed to find her a new home. They were moving away and they could no longer keep her. And I was like, why not? You know, we have the cat, we have the dogs and we're animal people. And my dogs always love making new friends. So we decided to adopt Cocaine. And Cocaine is very sweet, she's been here for two days now. We got, gave her some time to get acclimated to the household, but she has not met the dogs yet. So right now, we're about to introduce her to my shepherds, right in front of your, right in front of your eyes, and let's see how my dogs and Cocaine get along. Cocaine, are you ready? Are you ready, Cocaine? Let's do it. Now you guys know the deal. If you eat the bunny, people are not gonna be very happy, okay? They will not be happy. If you eat this bunny, and you're gonna get canceled. Have you ever heard, heard of the cancel culture? They will cancel you. You will no longer have a channel. You eat the bunny, and your channel is done. Your YouTube career, is over you eat the bunny and you are canceled no more no mas so be nice to cocaine because people love baby bunnies hi cocaine let her get acclimated to them He's the boy, he's the, the, the pack, the, the, the male of the pack, Plats. And he wants to be the first one to introduce himself. He's like, I don't know if I like this. He's crawling closer and closer. <laughs> Look how much you have moved, Owen. 
Veronica's jealous. Oh, you want to climb on me? Good boy. They're a little bit, a little bit excitable because it's a new addition. So you guys can see, like, they really want to to get close to her. Carolina decided to to go meet her and check her out. She loves Owen. She loves Owen. Oh, oh my gosh. Can you imagine we're going to have Bunny and German Shepherd mix? Mm -hmm. Her like so Where are you going? She's like this Where are you going, girl? You got licked in the face. Look at you. <laughs> Cocaine is like, I'm out of here. I don't have time for this. I have places to be. I got meetings to go to. I'm not staying around here. Owen wants to lick her. It's not your girlfriend, Owen. Not every girl is gonna like you, Owen. You're not her type. You're not her type. And look, your pregnant wife is jealous over here. Your pregnant wife is jealous. All right, guys, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you guys subscribe for the future videos. Stay tuned for the big surprise that I have coming up. And make sure you guys are following me on Instagram for daily updates. Cocaine the bunny wasn't too impressed with the dogs, but the dogs are very interested in her. So we'll continue to have them getting used to each other before they can play together. Right now, the dogs are way too interested in her. For obvious reasons, she's a new addition. So... In just a couple of days, they will be our best friends.